Hey, fellow problem solvers, Colfax Math here. Today I want to talk a little bit about the differences between the arithmetic reasoning portion of the ASVAB military placement exam and the mathematical knowledge portion of the ASVAB exam. Uh, and then I'm going to show you how my strategy applies to those two different sections. So to start with, the mathematical knowledge portion of the ASVAB exam is really kind of traditional math, kind of what you would have learned in school using a lot of equations and diagrams, uh, rules of traditional mathematics, versus the arithmetic reasoning portion of the ASVAB exam is really how well you can use your quantitative reasoning skills to figure out a problem. So it'll have a lot less equations, uh, a lot less kind of memory from math class, and more just ability to solve complex problems. So again, that's the arithmetic reasoning is where you kind of reason your way through math problems versus mathematical knowledge where you need to kind of have these known facts. I have a five-step process. It changes a little bit between math knowledge and arithmetic reasoning. Let me go over that. My five-step process for any math problem on the ASVAB in the mathematical knowledge portion is number one, mark up the problem circling keywords, underlining big ideas, really noting uh, the units. Number two, create some sort of picture or diagram. We really don't have very much time on any one of these problems, so this is really quick. Create an equation that represents that picture. Step four, solve that equation. Step five, check. And if there's time, substitute in your answer to make sure you did it correctly. All right, I have an example. We'll go over that in a minute. But let me jump down to the arithmetic reasoning. Again, the arithmetic reasoning is you're kind of using logic to work your way through these problems. I've changed step three and four for the arithmetic reasoning. Step one is the same, mark up the problem. Step two is the same, create a picture. Step three is a little bit different. It's fill in the picture. Fill in the givens from the sentence into the picture. Step four is identify what you're really looking for and then seeing if you could put that in in the picture, or anything you could figure out in the picture. And then step five is the same. Go ahead and check your work. If there's time, plug in your solution to make sure it works. Okay, I have an example problem for each. So let's go ahead and do this example problem right here. This is an example problem for the mathematical knowledge portion of the ASVAB entrance exam. Go ahead and pause the video. Try and do this problem the best you can. Unpause the video, watch how I do it, following my five-step process. Okay, step one, mark up the problem. What is the area? So I gotta make sure I'm looking for area, not circumference, of a circle with a radius of seven units using pi is equal to 3.14. So I've marked up my equation, my picture, is gonna look like that. It is a circle with the radius of seven. Step three, create an equation. Area of a circle is equal to pi r squared. And I know my r is seven, so the area of this circle is pi seven squared. Seven times seven is 49 pi. Solve my equation, well I need to solve for area. 49 times pi, well pi is 3.14. I look at my answers and I look over here and none of them are very close. So I think I'm gonna actually drop that off and only substitute that three right there in for pi. So I'm gonna take that value of three and put in for pi. So my area is equal to three times 49. I'm gonna round that up to 50. Three times 50 is 150, 150. Only answer that's even close is answer C. Let me double check that. What is the area of a circle with a radius of seven? Well, I, I squared it, times it by pi, and got 150. That's the correct answer. So there's my five-step process. It's a good example of a mathematical knowledge problem on the ASVAB because it's using equations that you need to know. And then my five-step process, mark up the equation, uh, find the, create a picture, use the equation, solve the equation, check. Okay, now let's take an example of an arithmetic reasoning problem. This one's going to be a little bit different. 
as my process changes for arithmetic reasoning, because it's probably not an equation. We're gonna still mark up the problem, create a picture, fill in the picture, solve what we are looking for. So step one, a bus leaves the station at 8.15 a.m. and travels at an average speed of 40 miles per hour. If its destination is 180 miles away and it makes two 15-minute stops along the way, what time does a bus arrive at the destination? So there's a lot of numbers in here. Some of them are actually numeric. Some are written out. So I've marked it up. Step two, let me create a, a picture. I start right here at 8.15 a.m. So there I am at 8.15. And I travel at a speed of 40 miles per hour. And this is 180 miles away. So I'm going 180 miles at 40 miles per hour. Okay, that's gonna put me right here. And it makes two 15 minute stops. So actually I'm gonna add those two 15 minute stops right here. Two 15 minute stops, this is gonna be 30 minutes. Along the way, what time will it get to this destination? Now I got 180 miles over 40 miles per hour 180 divided by 40, 180 divided by 40, I could actually drop the zeros, or I could keep it long. Four goes into 18 four times with one half left over. So this is four and a half hours. So that 180 miles converts to four and a half hours, really keeping track of my units. So all I'm really doing is I marked up my equation, I created a picture, it's kind of a timeline. I'm filling in that picture right now. So I start at 8.15, I travel four and a half hours and another 30 minutes. So then solve for what you were asked for. What am I even looking for here? Hours, miles? No, I am looking at what time does the bus arrive? And I check my answers and I can see they're all times. So I need to figure out a time right here. So I marked in my problem, I created a picture, I filled in that picture, and now I'm looking for this time right here. I start at 8.15, I travel four and a half hours plus another 30 minutes, which is a half hours. So I go 8.15 plus four and a half and 30 plus five hours to end at a time right here. So 8.15 plus five hours, is 13.15 or, right, that's military time, 13.15, it is one hour and 15 beyond noon or 1.15 p.m. Correct answer, answer D. Pretty hard problem, a lot of steps to it, and that's why my five-step process might help you. And again, I just kind of want to reiterate the difference between mathematical knowledge kind of what you've learned in math class. You gotta do a lot more studying for that if it's been a while, versus arithmetic reasoning. If you're pretty good at figuring stuff out quantitatively, those are those types of problems. The five-step process is pretty similar in both cases. However, in math knowledge, you're really creating a, an equation and solving the equation. In arithmetic reasoning, you're kind of filling in your picture and solving for what you were asked to solve for. Hope that was helpful. If you are a member, I really appreciate your membership supporting this channel. If you have any questions at all, if you're a member, please go ahead and post them in the comments. I'll make a short video like this to answer those questions. Thank you.